Okay, so let's um, see what this hangman situation is all about. Okay. Okay, so let's look at um, the first thing is the hangman in the reverse position. It does indicate time for action, okay? Time to take initiative and to go f uh, forge ahead with plans. What I do feel, though, is um, from the beginning of this month, you're going to be in a situation in which you're defending your beliefs, you're disputing with other people, and you're trying to, like... Um, get others to come to your point of view and you're going to not heed the advice with of other people so that is coming in very very strongly at the beginning of the month and um i would advise you to like really understand where the other person is coming from because i do feel like a very restless energy from you where you might be heading in the wrong direction so um be careful with the, how this energy plays out because I do sense like a, a very combative, not from this card, but mainly from this card. And this is you at the first half of the month. So which is, you know, the first and second weeks that we're dealing with here from the first row. And I do sense a very like um, a very stubborn and a very combative energy. So be very careful about this situation in which you're fighting with other people just because you're being stubborn rather than fighting to get at the truth or fighting I wouldn't even say it's like a, a physical altercation, although it can be. But what I do sense is like standing up for your beliefs and um um, like arguing with people who might have different viewpoints, okay? I would advise you very, very strongly to, um, to like look to the expert and especially if those that are older than you, they actually have a lot of wisdom to offer you, but you're being very stubborn and you're not seeing the wisdom in the truth and the reality of the situation. So you're fighting, um, a losing battle basically, mainly because the way the cards are playing out, especially for the first and uh, second weeks. But again, this is also very mundane energy, so I wouldn't say that it's going to permeate through the rest of this month. But I would definitely ask you to slow down a little bit and take um, heed their advice because they do have very good insights that will help you. But you're not, um, you're not like, um, you're not able to absorb a lot of what they have to offer, mainly because you're choosing not to okay with the fool here i do sense that you are trying to implement um new projects okay you're going to go forward with it the only thing i would say is that you do have divine intervention here so um this is also your card so the time to do it is going to be like um let me see here it's it yeah it's going to be in the end of this month as well mainly because the first two weeks are very destabilizing and you have like too many actors involved the second um the second part of the month has a very um stable energy especially with the strength card so i do feel that you're going to be able to um to have a little a, a better perspective and you're able to see the bigger picture in this situation okay so i might be downplaying this argument coming in the beginning of the month but what i feel is that um it's an ongoing thing it has been um like it's like a, a little skirmish a little war that has been waging for oh, quite some time and you're tired of dealing with it so you're able to walk away the other person might be provoking you and they might feel like you're going to get sucked back in but you are choosing to walk away as well and um yeah i feel like very strongly other people are like arguing on technicalities okay and they're trying to like get you sucked in but you're just like no i i do want to do other things i don't want to invest my time in this pointless skirmish so i'm going to he go ahead and invest my time where it's worthwhile which is a great thing to do so if there's like a new uh, relationship a new project or any type of income generating activity that you are uh, thinking about going implementing and like going forward with it would be best uh, left for the second week okay sorry the second half of the month which is the third and fourth week so um i feel that is the best time for this to have like uh, staying power 
all right? Especially like after the 21st when we're in the time of um, Taurus. So I feel like it can have a very good resolution if it's a problem or it can have very good like uh, manifestation and, and staying power if it's a new project or any type of new relationships. Um, at the same time, for those of you who are in stable relationships, I do feel that there are going to be disputes with loved ones, okay? And um, I would say put your ego aside if this is a person that you're in a relationship with, mainly because um, the other person, you're going to feel like the other person is attacking you. But what I honestly believe is that um, if you're in a relationship with a... Um, with an air sign, they demand an explanation from you. So don't give them a half ass explanation. And especially don't give them like a partial truth because they're going to cut you down and they're going to say some very hurtful things to you. So be very honest about who it is that you're dealing with, mainly because you know, it's it's good to be honest, but at the same time, this um this air sign has a very uh you would think that you have a bad temper, but this air sign um, is a very good, like, um, has very keen, sharp perception. And if you're not telling the truth, there is going to be um, repercussions. And um, this person, air signs are not good when they're angry. They are, they are very, very volatile and ex um, explosive. Because I know that with a lot of Aries, um, you get angry and then, you know, you explode and then you get over it. But air signs can hold grudges as well. And then when they're really, really angry, they don't get very, very angry very, very often. But when they do, it can be catastrophic and it can be like the tower like this. Okay, so don't um, try not to get on their bad side because I do feel that they want an explanation from you and you've been evasive. So they have no choice but to confront you and it's not going to look pretty. Okay, so if you just reveal the truth, you're going to be fine. That's all the cards are suggesting. Okay, um, let me see what else is coming in. Okay, so for those of you who are in stable relationship, you know, just keep in mind that there are going to be a little bit of bickering. If not, for most of you, I do feel that it is going to be a confrontation. So be prepared for that and just um, be on the upright, mainly because it's going to save you a lot of trouble that down the line. And if it's with a loved one, what's the point of, you know, lying and um, not being honest, okay? But in either way, I feel that you are going to come up, up on top if it's a project or if you're dealing with another person as long as you're righteous, okay? For those of you who are um, getting out there and dating again, I do feel that um, your energy level is going to be uh, sapped from you, especially the first two weeks, but um, there is definitely somebody in your midst who is sparking your interest. So it could be a Leo person who is very uh, loving, very kind, or it could be like another air sign. And I would say this, um, for a lot of you though, if you're single and dating, you might meet an air sign the first two weeks who might prove to be a little too much for you. Oh, just a little too much, mainly because this person is a little bit... Um, it's very blunt and you like bluntness but at the same time um like the the attraction might be a little too um too jarring it's not a, a very smooth stable type of attraction so uh, it might be a little too much for you so the second um two weeks though i feel that you might come across a leo a very very good person but um either way honesty goes a long way okay but um the leo seems like a very stabilizing you know uh force or influence in your life and this person can actually like handle your quirks with a little more compassion than the air sign so um i feel that is a better energy and a better um person for longevity for you um let me see here okay so um Going ahead with this project, what I do feel is um, you're going to have to take some time off and really take going ahead with this project or this new endeavor that you're thinking about implementing. Um, towards like 
the second two weeks, you're going to have to really go back and revamp it or take into account other people's advice before you're able to go forward with this, okay? So take some time off, stop, and go back and review before you can implement it because I do feel that um, if it is not implemented correctly, you're going to have this situation in which the, the foundation of it gets uh, unraveled. So there is... Um, what I say is you're going to to face like this universal block, which is to your benefit actually to force you to go back and review a lot of the things that are happening so that you can implement it in a way that is um, you can fortify the foundation for this new endeavor so that it can stand the test of time okay so either way there is a, a a bit of a blockage coming in possibly like the end of this third week and it's going to force you to re-examine a lot of the things that um people have said about what you should do and at the time you dismiss them but now it's actually really important to admit to yourself that they are actually right so yeah, really make an effort to do this, okay? So um, everything else looks good. I mean, this card is in the reverse position. And if this card is going to come out at all, it is best in this position. Because it does deal with, um, especially for those of you who have dealt with an air sign who is very hurtful in the past, um, the energy is still like residual. So you're going to feel this through this month. Uh, mainly because it is your birthday month, so a lot of you might have to like face that other person from your past. But what I feel like is not going to be problematic. Um, it's only going to be when you can't stand up for yourself, okay, and when you can't be honest about the truth. So um, you have a lot of divine intervention here. You have these two very strong cards, which indicates to me that um, you have to hold your own. You have to maintain your domain. You have to um, resurrect your wall and to like um, be firm in your boundaries with this person because this person has a penchant for over uh, extending themselves and for like encroaching upon people's uh, space so you have to really be careful about that but I do feel that this person is very upsetting and everyone is very like upsetting to you every time they come back they try to like um, chip away at your self-esteem at the life that you've built for yourself and have established for yourself so it is very important for you to be very firm about who you are and what you're doing because they like erode your self-esteem and it is very important for you to um, stand up for yourself and be honest okay um, you don't have to tell them off if you don't I, I feel like they're they're trying to get a rise out of you like he or she is trying to get a rise out of you he or she is like um, trying to engage you in a conflict and um, the one thing that is standing between you and that air sign is this, which is um, you have to claim your territory. You have to stand firm, okay? This is a, a wand energy. It's a fire energy. So scare them off with a torch. But um, So what that means is you have to defend yourself. You have to present the truth. And you also have to like uh, keep them at arm's length. And also, um, I'm not going to say it's a preemptive strike, but it is a situation in which you disengage, um, mainly because it's not a sword energy. So um, the representation of this in the real world, what I would say is um, it's kind of like um, it's kind of like putting a stop, okay? putting a stop, like putting a block. It's kind of like um, making sure that they hit a block, uh, like a brick wall before they even get to you is what I'm sensing. So you have to put up those walls that um, to protect your own boundary and your own domain. And so they stop coming back in to chip away your um, self-esteem more than anything. Okay, so be careful about that. Another really troubling thing is that they are in the upright position and you're showing up in the reverse. So I would say it is definitely a, a situation in which um, you both are not seeing eye to eye on a lot of things, mainly because um, you don't really see the true representation of the other person, okay? So out of a sense of like stubbornness and obstinacy, I feel that you are not re being very realistic about the way that um, 
others try to help you okay so that's that's one thing i would say be very 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 careful of especially especially the first two weeks mainly because i mentioned the situation in which you know um other people have very good advice and you're going to realize the at the end of this month that they have really good advice and they have like a lot of wisdom that you would be um that would be beneficial to you however you chose to you know turn your back on them and then this person too is um is trying to help or they they're coming in trying to come to your rescue and then you put up a, a wall too okay so um that's another way that this could potentially play out for those of you who have been a little too stubborn a little too stuck in your head it is um like um it is a good month to reconcile this um within yourself so that so that you are you become a little more i guess um emotionally grounded because i do feel that um you know, either way, like, um, the energies that we're dealing with and the people that, um, you're dealing with, they're going to play out differently depending on, you know, the types of Aries that you are, like, if you're, the, your level of evolvement. So you know who this person will be and you know the best way to protect yourself. And it is mainly about self-preservation and about, um, establishing rules and guidelines and establishing boundaries okay more than anything so even if they mean well if they have boundary issues you can still protect yourself and claim your domain and like um don't let them chip away at your self-esteem more than anything so you know either way um depending on where you fall on the airy spectrum i guess um i do feel that you are going to have like divine help and it's going to teach you to be patient and to be um, to be patient and also to be very strong, like to be firm about what it is that you want and you want to protect, and to um, I guess come into your own sense of strength. Okay, you're going to realize that um, you're a lot stronger than you you think and that you give yourself credit for and in the process of defending yourself about this one in this one very significant relationship that you've had and it, you know troubles were brewing like for have been brewing for a long time okay you're going to stand up for yourself and you're going to realize how strong you are and how resilient you are and how um this person has been like very detrimental to your self-esteem and you're going to regain yourself Okay, so overall, it looks very positive. So I do wish you, you know, the fortified strength to get through this month, mainly because um, it is going to require a lot of resilience to navigate um, the energies presented. But you have a lot of help. You have a lot of outsider help. So um, be receptive to new new ideas, especially if they're different from yours. So don't shrug them off, you know, give it some time, really, you know, sleep on it if you have to. But um, I do feel that in general, the people around you are very well-meaning. Um, they might not come across as that, but um, they are very well-meaning and they do want to help you, okay? In the, in the most abrasive way, they do want to help you. So um, take it with a grain of salt and also just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind when interacting with others. But at the same time, protect yourself from people who no longer serve you and might be more of a nuisance in your life than anything, okay?